Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews and I'm doing a uh, nice series, a nice amount of hard um, sparkling waters, okay? Hard seltzers, alcoholic seltzer water basically. Uh, I have done a few, I have them under a playlist. If you look at my playlist it'll say um, hard seltzers and you can check them all out. I've got a lot of flavors and a lot of different ones. I'm even going to compare blindly, uh, like White Claw and Truly, and see what one I like better, the same flavor. So I got a lot going on with this. Today, what I'm doing is the White Claw, all right, lemon. Now, let me explain this for those of you. First of all, White Claw is owned by Mark Anthony Company. And who's the Mark Anthony Company? The Mark Anthony Company, no big deal. They formed in 1992 and they own some wines and spirits and things like that but the main thing they came out with the Mike's Hard Lemonade in 1999 that's the company the same company as the one that owns Mike's Hard Lemonade they came out with this White Claw in 2016 now it is a blend of seltzer water with uh, gluten-free alcohol all right almost beer it's actually a malt beverage um, with a hint a hint of fruit flavor. The big thing about this is, the big thing about this is, the whole can's 100 calories. Of course, there's no fat, there's almost no sodium. There's 1% sodium, um, 20 megs. Two grams of carbs, that's the, that's the secret here. So this is low in sugar, low in carbs, low in taste, let me get to it. Uh, but it has 5% alcohol. That's the same as beer, okay? Light beer, generally has 4.2% alcohol, somewhere around there. Normal beer, like your Budweiser lagers and things like that, have 5%. Your craft beers have 6 to 12%. So this is just like drinking a Budweiser or a Miller or a uh, Rolling Rock or whatever, as far as alcohol goes. Now, this says spiked water with a hint of lemon, okay? If you're looking for a flavor bomb here with no calories, you're at the wrong, you, you, this, this, this isn't what this is. This is clean, this is refreshing, this is low calorie, this is low carb, and this is low taste. If you don't like seltzer water, which is the base of soda before the syrup's added in, you're not gonna like this. This is like club soda or tonic water with just a squeeze of, in this case, lemon. But it has 5% alcohol. Now, you could put this in a Turfus cup or a uh, like Yeti type cup and uh, over ice and sip on it for a while. It's just like I said, like drinking a beer. Um, you can add gin to this, which would be very good, or you can add vodka to this. Now, bear in mind, you're adding it to something that's already ha the equivalent of a beer. So, you're gonna wanna sip that slow. Uh, I can't stress enough that this is a lightly flavored drink. This isn't a flavor bomb, okay? You're giving something up for the low calories and the low carbs, the low sugar. So uh, keep that in mind. People drink it and they're expecting something else, but you can't have it both ways. Um, I like it. I think it's refreshing. Uh, I like the hint of the flavor in there. I like the facts you can mix it. I like the fact you can pour it over ice and drink it all day. It's good for the beach boating. It's just a fun summertime drink. It really is. It's got a great can, and it's nice. And it's a thin can. People love this can. It's it's tall. It's skinny. It's just you know. So the marketing on the can is nice. Now let's open it up and get a taste of it. All right. I'm gonna pour it in my glass here. You'll see that it's carbonated and it's crystal clear. Now, if you don't like alcohol, you're not a big beer drinker, you don't really like alcoholic beverages, but you'd love to be able to sip one, catch a little buzz, and, 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 and just feel a little light and stuff, and loosen up, then this really would be the thing for you, maybe, all right? Because you might be able to get this down and really enjoy it. Uh, not have to drink a beer if that's not your thing, or liquor, or anything like that. So, um, you know, this will appeal to, if this is sound like it appeals to you, okay very popular right now now it's very popular and it's doing great and I don't know if it's gonna withstand the test of time okay a lot of things come and go we'll see it's like wine coolers 
Zima. Will this be here? You know, I don't know. Everybody who drinks this isn't drinking something else. So I doubt it's going to put beer or wine out of business. Uh, but is it going to take some of the market permanently? Don't know. Let's give it a smell. See, now it smells good. Now, see, I like lemon. I like the smell of lemon. And that it always smells clean and refreshing. And you can smell it. Definitely, it's a hint, but you can smell it. And actually, it almost smells, which is lemon lime, but it almost smells like a Sprite. Um, but yet, there's going to be no sugar in here, very little. Maybe a diet Sprite. It's, it's what I said it would be. It's, it's tasty. It's got a hint of lemon, but it's there. I mean, you're going to taste the lemon. Um, and it's basically club soda, seltzer water, tonic water, with a squeeze of lemon, and it's 5% alcohol by volume. And that's what it is. I like it because it's clean, it's refreshing, it's just got a nice understated taste to it, and I like it. Um, somebody, I was reading a, a, a review on it, and somebody said it was um, <laughs> it was a malt beverage that went to a private school. I thought that was funny. Um, so, if you think that that's something you might want to look into, you want to see what the craze is about, or you just want a light, refreshing drink that you may or may not think this is light, refreshing, or you want it as a mixer, um, or you don't really like alcohol, but you'd like to be able to partake at a party. All great reasons to try this. So I'm going to sip this, even though it'll go down real fast and real easy. I'm not going to drink it like that. I'm going to sit here in this beautiful day and I'm going to sip it. And I'm a great time doing it. Uh, like I said, it would be great over ice. It would last a while. And um, from Hillbilly Select Reviews. Check out the playlist. Check out all my playlists. When you start reading the playlist, you're going to find a few things you like. Believe me, I do a lot of stuff. But check the one under the uh, hard seltzers, and you'll get to see all the flavors and the comparisons and everything. I'm going to release one a week, so when, depending on when you're checking this, is how many are going to be up there. Uh, and I appreciate you being here, and, and please subscribe. My channel's growing, and I appreciate that. And uh, I just like those numbers. Uh, I am a little competitive. Uh, obviously, I, I don't want to sit here and talk to myself. So you're already watching it. Please hit the sub button, and that's all I ask for you. I'll do all the rest. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these.